And here's that field. One is Fancy Creek Ore, owned by Larry Wilbert and Danny Reed of Decatur. Larry Reed trains. Sam Widger is in the bike. Two is Broadway John, owned by Gene Herford of Madison, Indiana. Herford, the trainer. Phil Cotton up. Three, Just a Redneck, owned by Benita Simmons and Carol Heidbreeder of Sherman, Illinois. Tom Simmons trains and drives. Four, Brute Force, owned by Jim Geis and Tom Mites of Chicago. Irvin Miller, the trainer and driver. Five, Two's Trouble, owned by Tom Kolchowski of St. Charles. Jim Eaton, the trainer, with Dan Knox getting the call. Six, Cash Refund, owned by Joel Yoder, Terry Lynn Harp of Indiana and Michigan. Yoder trains with Tony Morgan. Seven, Too Tall Topol, owned by Dick Baylog of St. Charles. John Bootenshane trains Andy Miller in the bike. Eight, Fox Valley Target, owned by Harold Carter and Tim Nakud of Illinois. Pete Alanya trains. Tony Alanya will be up. Nine, Tomorrow Never Dies, owned by Penske Stables. Brian Penske of Minnesota and Illinois. Penske, the trainer driver. And ten, Sports Connection, owned by Peggy and Jack Hood. Mystical Marker Farms, Steinbrenner Racing Stable, Indiana, Illinois, Florida. Dave McGee will drive Dirk Simpson Trains Sports Connection. That's the field for today's final race. Post time Monday is noon. At the post, the gate is rolling. Field of 10 in behind starter Montgomery. Final race of the afternoon, race number 16. Gate picks up speed, and here they come. They're off and pacing from the outside sports connection. Quickly for the lead, out fast also is Two Toll Topple. And on the inside, getting away next is Fancy Creek Ore as that field races into the turn. Out fourth, Brute Force field around the turn from the outside sports connection. Gunning for the lead, and McGee has him positioned alongside the leader, who is Fancy Creek Ore. Now taking over is Sports Connection. He'll lead. Fancy Creek Ore picks up cover second. Brute Force finds room. He drops in third. Fourth on the inside, just a redneck. Five, Two Toll, uh, two toll toppled moves up he is fifth now fourth racing six behind him as they straighten down the backside cash refund seven is tomorrow never dies field off the turn sweeping down the back stretch front quarter and 27 one they're headed toward the half mile mark and leading the way by a length and a half sports connection on the inside fancy creek or second on the outside easing up to tall topal as they approach the half mile mark fourth on the inside as they reach that mark is brute force cash refund is five six is just a redneck seven tomorrow never dies eight broadway john nine tis trouble in at the back is fox valley target the half 56 three they're past the draw gate they're in the upper turn and the leader as they head toward three quarters is sports connection two tall topal on the outside there second along the rail racing third as they drive toward the three-quarter mile mark is fancy creek gore and pacing very fast here comes cash refund he's alongside the leader for anthony morgan also coming on is tomorrow never dies from fifth now fourth and also off the rail driving is fancy creek or they've passed three quarters they're there in 127 four they're at the top of the lane cash refund is on the outside he's challenging for the lead on the inside sports connection and coming on middle of the racetrack fancy creek or four as they drive this way is brute force with pace to the wire is going to be cash refund leading him home. Cash refund wins a tight photo for second. It appeared to be Fancy Creek Ore, then Brute Force. Under the wire, four. While Sports Connection, five tomorrow, never dies. Finishing six unofficially, just a redneck. Photo for seven between Tis Trouble and Broadway John. Nine was Fox Valley Target. Ten, Too Tall Topo. 154-4. Very impressive mile by this two-year-old in race number 16 today. Owned by Joel Yoder and Terry Lynn Harp of Indiana and Michigan. Trained by Joel. Driven by Tony Morgan. Cash refund 154-4. Last quarter in 27 seconds by that two-year-old. Now moving into the winner circle. Giving Cape Crusader his second impressive winner of the day is two-year-old cash refund. Brenda Watson waits along with Honest Abe to make presentation of the race trophy. Abe, I guess you probably travel by horse most of the places you go, don't you? Lynn Wilfong in the 
Winner's Circle with a smile. He, the owner, along with Brett of, I guess it's Brett that owns Cape Crusader. Lynn being the father of Brett. Good day for that young sire and a good day for Joel Yoder and Terry Landharp. Tony Morgan has just marked their two-year-old in 154 four-fifths. There he is, cash refund, Anthony Morgan.